So after two years, I have decided to straighten my natural hair yet again. The first time I did it, hated it. So it's been two additional years and I wanted to show you guys my process. So I start by putting a heat protectant all over my twists so that I can minimize any type of damage from the heat from using a blow dryer and a flat iron. So I'm just putting that all over my hair and this is an olive oil heat protection serum. So as you can see, I have no fancy blow dryer. This is the one I'm using. I'm going to put the setting on medium um, blow drying and medium heat, which is pretty much cool for that particular blow dryer. I start by taking down each individual twist so that I can detangle and kind of blow out the hair. I'm using the comb chase method, well in this case it's tangle teaser chase method, where you hold the comb or the brush at the um, top of your hair and you run it down the length of your strands as you're blow drying. So that's what you'll see me doing here. The tangle teaser is just easier for me to hold so that's why I decided to use that one. So here's just another view so you can see exactly how I did the comb chase method with the blow dryer. Well, uh, as you can see, since I decided to use a low heat setting, which like I said was pretty cool for my blow dryer, this is how my hair came out. Um, I think the higher heat you use, the straighter it get, which will help in the flat iron process but again I was so nervous about putting heat on my hair so this is my fancy uh, not so fancy flat iron this is a Remington this is what I decided to use this is what I have I didn't think I needed anything better I was not going for a bone straight look so this is the flat iron I'm going to stick with so I decided to separate my back portion of my hair this is the section I'm going to start with I'm going to continue to use the comb chase method with the flat iron process. I think it's more effective if you do that process um, than rather just flat ironing it on its own. So here you can guys can see how my hair looks in its blow dried kind of shrunken state. Here's my flat iron chase comb chase method that I'm doing and it's pretty easy it's very effective. Here you can see a little bit more of a close-up of the method and BAM guys shrinkage is a lie this is my true bra strap length for my hair what yep it's been three years since i did my big chop and this is my hair <clears throat> okay cough cough hmm. since i chickened out and lowered my heat from 340 to 320 this is my blowout looking straight hair yeah well, I wasn't going for a bone straight look, like I said, but yeah, this looks more like a straightened high heat blowout rather than a flat iron job. However, I wasn't disappointed. I was actually surprised at how long my hair had gotten and how much healthier it had been since the first time I straightened, and I loved it. It showed my length, I got a little bit straight, and I was good with that. I was hella tired afterwards. But I was good with it. Moving on to how I prepared my hair that night. I was not used to straight hair so this is what I decided to do. However, I'm realizing this is a trial and error process. Uh, so what I did, I figured I can just put some little twists and kind of a bantu knot method all over my head. What I should have done was put some of those toward the top but because I did not create a kind of a a cap looking <laughs> thing at the top I don't know you guys will see it the next morning of what I'm talking about again it's trial and error don't be mad at yourself sometimes you gotta laugh it's okay and on to the next day so as you can see what I was talking about with the cap 
part <laughs> at the top that created that little circular dome thingamajiggy I don't know whatever but I worked it out as I always do this is the style that I came up with I didn't have time to film it when I actually did the style this is actually that evening but I'm gonna take it down and show you guys how I did it and how I achieved it so make sure you keep watching take a look let me know if you like it in the description below guys I'm done that was very quick and painless you'll be able to see a couple pics from the next day or so and I hope you enjoyed don't forget to follow me on Twitter Instagram Facebook and my blog all links are down below and at the end of the vid I love you guys thanks for watching see you in the next video